hello students so we were discussing about the exercise problems so we have finished the 12 problems now now we are moving to the 13th problem i hope you all are clear with the concepts if you are not clear with the concept please let me know in whatsapp okay see uh, please be perfect with all the formulas be perfect with all the problems that i have solved all the exercise problems and all the problems in the textbook so please be perfect okay see here a hot plate of an electric oven connected to a 220 volt line has two resistance coil a and b each of 24 ohm resistance which may be used separately in series or in parallel what are the currents in three cases in the question you observe there are three cases an electric oven that hot plate is connected to two resistance coils this is normal case so in normal case 24 ohm resistance is connected to hot oven there may be two resistance but this 24 dash 24 they are connected separately okay these 24 these two coils are not connected in series or in parallel in first case these connected this 24 ohm resistance is connected like this this if you say this is battery and then hot plate of an electric oven so an electric oven is connected suppose you can keep the electric oven here or you can keep electric oven here okay so this is electric oven so it is connected separately so it is connected separately okay then once it is connected both the resistance are connected in series this is the second case okay you are you no need to uh, draw the diagram just i am telling you for the sake of understanding so two resistors are connected that is a and b are connected in series in second case that if i consider electric moment here okay third case these two are connected in parallel here one and here other one i will connect so this is battery or supply you can say or you can say a hot plot plate of an electric oven this is only hot plate of an electric oven you can take so here i will connect so it is parallel it is series and the other one is normal so there are three cases so first is normal case in normal case what happens first what is given in the question let us write that solution so what is given to us right now hot plate of electric will connected to a 220 volt line so that is connected to a supply of 220 volt whatever the battery i have given there that is of 220 volt so voltage given is voltage is 220 volt okay then has two resistance coils a and b each of 24 ohm resistance so both r1 and r2 are of 24 ohm that is 24 both r1 and r2 which may be or you can say r you can still say that r that is r is equal to r1 r is equal to r2 which may be used separately in series or in parallel what are the currents in three cases so let me consider first case so i will consider first case that is case 1 case 1 see that is normal case what is given voltage is there this is current is there. so case 1 you write because you will get confused with that i of current so current i is equal to v by r formula we know v is equal to ir which formula ohms law so here i is equal to v by r what's my v here 220 volt so r anything you can take r both are same only they are not connected in series not connected in parallel they are connected separately okay with the electric oven this r1 is only connected separately r2 is connected separately so then I will take it as 220 by 24. So you do the problem here, you will get the solution. 24 to 20. You can divide here. So I can divide here. So if you take or you can say 4, 6, 4, 5, 20. 20 is again remaining. 22 minus 20. 
so 2 comes 2 0 that is 20 again so it will become 55 so 55 by 6 so 6 9 is a 54 1 is remaining so point is coming 6 1 is a 6 4 40 6 6 is a 36 so my answer is 9.16 amperes this you should remember last writing amperes is compulsory because it is the SI unit so I hope you understood here so current they have given voltage they have given resistance they have given current they have not given sorry current we need to find out voltage they have given resistance they have given so resistors they are in first case normal case they are neither connected in series nor connected in parallel so only the resistors they are connected in neither series nor parallel that means they are connected separately this R1 is connected separately R2 is connected separately for that electric oven of 220 volt which is connected to 220 volt line so 220 volt line means voltage R1 R2 that is coils resistance coil 24 24 ohms so case 1 we got it as in the case of R you can take anything so that we get it as 9.16 ampere 220 by 24 you can even 220 by 24 also you can make very easily so 24 is there 220 is there 24 9 is a 260 is not it so what is coming here only 4 is remaining ok point will come so 40 24 is a 24 16 will come 0 24 6 the it will become 140 16 so after 2 points you leave 9.16 you can you make it directly also or if you cut it again make it then also you will get it as 9.16 ampere i hope this much is clear right okay so now i will move to the second uh, what so i will drop this i will move to the second piece Case 1 is over, so I just want to discuss case 2. What is case 2? When they use, when they are connected in series, okay? When two coils are connected in series. When two coils are connected in series. So if the two coils are connected in series, what happens? So my R is becoming what? R1 plus R2. Effective R that is RS is equal to R1 plus R2 that is 24 plus 24 that is equal to 48 ohm. Right? So what I want current again I want, isn't it? They are in series means series of the train and the resistance add up. Right? So I want R is equal to R is over now. I want current I is equal to V by R, V is equal to IR. So that means what is my V here? 220, 220 divided by 48. So you make here 220 by 48, you can easily do 220 by 48. With 4 you do or with, uh, with 4 we will do 4 12s are 455. So already we have done last 55. 55, 6 came here. Here 4 again we take. It will come 12 and here it will come 55. So 12, 55 if you take. 12, 4 is 48. 7 is remaining. Point will come. Take 0 here. I know you all are happy with uh, division. I know you all are perfect with division. 12, 5 is 16 you take. 10 is coming. 100. So 12 is a 96. So 4.5. So our answer is 4.58 ampere. This is case 2. I is equal to 4.58 amperes. So this is case 2. Still I have another case. So now I have finished with case 2. Please note down this. I have finished with case 2. We will move to case 3 here. So here I can do the case 3. So what is my case 3? Or will I let me write it like this. Case 3. When R1 and R2 are connected in, when two coils are connected in parallel. So I will drop this, this much only. So you note down this case 1. I will drop this. Okay. 
so t is minus 3 so case 3 all of you look here when two coils are connected in series is over when two coils are connected in parallel when two coils are connected in parallel so when they are connected in what my r becomes 1 by r is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 so 1 by r is equal to this is r1 is 24 1 by 24 plus 1 by 24 so it will become 2 by 24 1 by rp is equal to 1 za 12 za 2 1 za 2 12 za so my rp will become 12 o i hope you understood here not really. 1 by rp equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 formula that 1 by rp is equal to r1 r2 equal to 24 24 da 24 par kondu no so 1 da 1 similar fractions right fractions 24 lcm are 1 1 na 2 2 2 by 24 that is 1 by rp equal to 1 by 12 va 1 by rp equal to 1 by 12 to rp man to 1 by 12 man to 1 by 12 is equal to 12 e is not again by 4 now current is equal v by r so r is rp here that is v by rp what is my rp here so here you can take v by r is also ok what is my rp here 12 and what is v 220 220 by 12 if you make 220 by 12, here only we will make, I will drop this. So you note down this, please note down all the things whenever I write, because I am rubbing also. Or if you have not noted down, please go back and then note down it, okay. Please go back, rewind the video, rewind the video for 1 or 2 minutes, you will see that, you note down that, then come here. So, 12, 1s are 12, 10, 0 is coming, 12 is a 96, 40 is coming, point is coming, 12, 3 is a 36, again 40 point, okay, 18 point 33, 12 is a 36, so 18 point 33 ampere is our I in this case, that is in our third case. I is equal to 18.33 amperes is the I in the final case. Okay. I hope you can all can see that 18.33 amperes. Okay. So please note down this. We will move to the next concepts. So please note down this. I hope you all are noting down. So we will move to the next concept. Okay students, we will see the 14th problem now, that is I can read from here, okay. So what is the problem, I am going to read with writing also. Compare the power used in the two ohm register, compare the, compare the power, question number 14 in your exercise, you can see in the textbook, compare the power used in the two ohm register. In the 2 ohm register, 2 ohm resistors in, in each of the following circuits, in each of the following circuits. Okay. So they have given it. First one, a 6 volt battery in series with a 6 volt battery in series with in series with 1 ohm and 2 ohm resistors 1 ohm and 2 ohm resistors 2 ohm resistors and and second one a 4 volt battery in parallel with a 4 volt battery in parallel with in parallel with in parallel with 12 ohm and 2 ohm resistors 12 ohm and 2 ohm 
Please understand this question properly. That side I will solve the answer. See here, you understand the question. What they have given and what is asked. Compare the power used. So we need to find out the power. That we should confirm. Compare the power used in the 2 ohm register. That is also in the 2 ohm register in each of the following circuits. They have given us two circuits. A 6 volt battery in series with 1 ohm and 2 ohm resistors. So I will show you the circuit. So 6 volt battery, this is battery. Okay. 6 volt battery in series with 1 ohm and 2 ohm resistors. So this is in series. Okay. This is in series. So this is our 1 ohm, this is our 2 ohm. So this is connected in series with battery. Okay. This is our first circuit. So here also we have to find out the power in this. Power is in the 2 ohm resistor. Power is in 2 ohm resistor. Second question, a 4 volt battery in parallel with 12 ohm and 2 ohm resistor. So what happens? Second condition, it is parallel. Okay. So this is parallel. Okay. So these are rough diagrams, don't worry. You no need to draw the diagram, just if you want to understand, see if you want to understand, you draw the diagrams. Okay? But you are not supposed to draw the diagram, no need to worry. It's okay. So here we can connect. So this is 6 ohm and this is 2 ohm. Okay, so it's 12 ohm and 2 ohm. Sorry. 1 ohm and 2 ohm. Here we have to find out the power. This is 6 volt, this is 4 volt. So these are the two cases. Okay. Here we have to compare the power used in 2 ohm resistor. So we have to find out the power in both the cases. That is considering 2 ohm resistor. Here also 2 ohm resistor, here also 2 ohm resistor. So what is my formula? Now I am going to solve this. Solution. So what is my formula? Let me solve the formula because it is little bit big. Solution. So what is given here, first case, what is given, case 1 or you can say circuit 1, case 1 or circuit 1, what is given there in circuit 1, that is they have given us resistance R1 is equal to or R is equal to 2 ohm, only we have to consider this resistor, okay, only we have to consider this resistor that is let us consider both resistors. We will take series only. 1 ohm, R2 is 2 ohm. First, I have to find out what is current. To find current, I need effective resistance. That is Rs is equal to R1 plus R2. That is 1 plus 2, which is equal to 3 ohms. Isn't it? R1, R2, 1 plus 2, that is 3 ohms. So I got Rs. So now I have to go for I is equal to V by Rs. What is my V here? V we have to, they have given it as 6 volt. In case 1 they have given this as 6 volt. Solution to make case 1 here and then make it given. Okay. V is equal to 6 volt. So I is equal to V by Rs. 6 by 3. So I I will get it as even the thing is a 2 amperes. I I will get it as 2 amperes. What is my power? What is my power? What is the formula of power? Formula of power in 2 ohm resistor. That means using resistance. Using resistance and current, what is my formula of power? That is P is equal to I square R. P is equal to I square R. What is my I here? In this case, we got it as 2 ampere. That means 2 square into R. R is also 2. So 2 square is 4. 4 into 2, that is 8 watt. I got power as 8 watt. I hope you all have understood that. No problem there. Power we got it as 8 watt. See here, this is the first case. They have given voltage, they have given R1, R2. First I have to find out the current by taking Rs. 
see you cannot find the current by taking only R1 or R2 in series circuit. In series circuit, you have to consider the effective resistance. Then only you find the current properly. No delay. For a R1 to go the I is equal to V by R1, 6 by 1. 6 ampere per equal to 6 by 2, 3 ampere per equal to 1. We have to consider here because here, the, here voltage will be different, here voltage will be different. For this resistor, the voltage is different. Here, for this resistor, voltage is different. Because this is in series circuit, voltage gets divided. I hope you are getting my point. So, for that reason, you have to find out the effective resistance first. And on that basis, you find the current. Now, we will move to the second case. Okay. I will solve it here. I hope this is visible. Okay. So, I will solve case 2. That is parallel connection. When 12 ohm and 2 ohm, that is instead of case 2, you can write 2 here. Because in the question they have given 1 and 2. So, you can write case 1 if you have written no problem, if you have not written, write 1 like this and write 2 like this. Okay. Same thing is given V is equal to V they have given it as 4 volt. R1, R2 are different now. R1 is 12 ohm, R2 is 2 ohm. See, we have to consider R2 here. Here I have taken, here I have taken R as 2 because we have to find out the power in 2 ohm. Then my R will become 2 ohm. Here also I have to find out the power in the 2 ohm register only. So that will it become, so I have to find out first R effective. So if you find out R effective, I think we no need to find out R effective here. Why? What is the reason? Tell me. We don't want to find out R effective here. Because see here, the voltage across this resistor and the voltage across this resistor is same. Because this is parallel. See, voltage across 2 ohm resistor is also same. Voltage across 12 ohm resistor is also same. I hope you are getting my point. Voltage across 12 ohm resistor and 2 ohm resistor both are same. Hence, we are not supposed to find out effective resistance here. No need to find out current because we have the formula P is equal to V square by R. We have that formula. So, V square we have for 4 ohm R that is we are considering 2 ohm resistor because they asked to find out 4 ohm pattern parallel with 12 ohm and 2 ohm resistor they have asked to find out power used in 2 ohm resistor so I will take so now P is equal to V square by R what is my V here what is my V 4 ohm 4 square by R is 2 that is 4 square is 16 by 2 that is 8 watt. So, P is equal to 8 watt again. So, we got the same answer. See, confused mode call up for battery, not only. Till now, series or the other you never put she did, put she in my day, country. Yaka third country, he too omigi voltage barrier. Actually, we are to series the other. Series the other you know, the voltage and divide up. So, other someone of current can be good to current can be good to high square R formula use voltage in the use one of the series like that. But parallel the Gita Yena theory is the case to either two four volt apply a petty, it could four volt apply voltage. Parallel the voltage same. A voltage in the public other than E four volt in the public other. So, it could four volt, it could four volt. The resistance already in the four volt apply a petty matter. V no it is R no it is. So power is equal to V square by R. And can you give it? But it will be shifted to another one. Other sum of the I can get both I square by I square R one. Series like that. So series like that I square R. Parallel like that V square by R. Formula use made. Power na. Now can you give it? We have to find the formula by using P is equal to I square R in series. V square by R in parallel. So it's matter power error to 8 watt per power. So, compare Madhita, both the, compare Madhita, in both the cases, power is same. Last, you write the sentence here, in both cases, 
in both cases power is same power is same that is power is power is eight w w means bad you know that okay so i hope you all are clear with both the problems solve these problems properly so will remaining things we will study in the next video that means still four questions are left we will solve those four questions i think four questions are left now yeah four questions are left this is 14th question compare the power so let me see yeah this is the 14th question so still four questions are there in exercise we will solve in the upcoming classes thank you